return of X-Men the Animated Series is something the fans have wanted for years. Congratulations on the Disney Plus announcements. Thank We're you. so excited. You just had your fan panel as well at C2E2. The outpouring from this community is definitely there, but I'd love to hear your takeaways you know, from all the experiences you've had with you know fans over the years and anything that stands out to you in particular. Well, first of all, i got to say thank you to the fans because it's because of them, you, that we're back. Um, when Disney bought uh, Marvel, they apparently put out a question to the intranet world uh, asking, you know, which show from the 90s they'd like to see come back the most. And X-Men won hands down. So thank you, uh, Sugar. The, the other thing is that I've only been going to the Comic-Cons for a few years now, like maybe for a year before the pandemic. And now we've just started back again. And the fans are so moving to all of us, touching their stories, the personal stories of how some of them were either bullied as kids or they had abusive parents or foster parents, um, some who lost their parents and were adrift and then they found the X-Men. All of them talked about how the X-Men was a safe space for them where they could come and every week they felt like they were included, that it's okay to be different, and in fact that we need to, you know, to celebrate our differences instead of uh, allowing people to put us down for them. The X-Men animated series holds a very close, you know, special place in, in many of our hearts. I grew up watching it. I can tell you every single week the importance of being able to watch it Saturday morning, not missing it or making sure it was recorded so I can go back and rewatch. The fact that it's now available on Disney Plus and, and released on DVD in the, uh, the most recent years, it's a lot of new generation to experience it. Have you been ex you know, hearing from fans as well about being able to share it with their kids and, and their families as they've grown up as well? Absolutely. And I mean, that's the beauty of this show is that we have a whole bunch of fans from the 90s who are now parents who have kids of their own and they're introducing their kids to the show. In fact, just Today, I had a whole family come the, with three kids. The, both parents were fans of the show when they were children. Now their kids are nine, seven, and five, and they've all watched it, the whole show through twice. I said, how is this possible? I asked the five-year-old, what do you like about the show? He said, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. I said, is it exciting? Yeah, it's really exciting. I'm like, wow, you know, <laughs> you, can, you can't go wrong. Uh, my last question to you, there are a lot of great moments in the series, of course, for Rogue and Gambit. Are there any that stand out to you personally beyond the quotes, of course, you get asked at conventions? Is there anything that you feel maybe is uh, Rogue's underrated moments that have carried on with you? To be honest, I think the chemistry between Rogue and Gambit and between Chris and I is really special. It's magical. Uh, and it's deep. So that shows on screen or in our voices. And it's the same with all of the X-Men. When we got together, when we were first put together, that team, Larry Houston, our director, our original director, calls it lightning in a bottle. He said they tried different actors. They tried people who mainly just did voiceover acting. That didn't work. Then they went to, for the idea of finding actors who were serious, dramatic actors in theater, for instance, which most of us were, um, and in movies and television. And they cast us as the, the X-Men. And I think that gravitas really shows, and the chemistry between all of us really was magical. So, you know, I'm, I'm pleased to be back. I'm pleased to have the team around me, and it's so much fun. And it's so much fun to come to the Comic-Cons and see each other when we hadn't seen each other in 30 years. Well, we're ready for lightning to strike twice with X-Men 97, and thank, thank you, you so much for your time. You're so welcome. All, all the best.